Okay, um, my friends are still here today, and they're having trouble with their uh, TST um, tire pressure monitoring system. And this is the TST, uh, it's called a repeater, but basically it boosts the signal between the sensors and the little monitor. So I'm going to install that for them and, and see if that improves uh, their reception and the way I'm going to install it is I'm going to actually connect to the hot side of the generator isolator solenoid and right here is the generator's isolator solenoid and this big cable is hooked to a mega fuse in the battery box this is a 2023 uh, Unity RL but it's the same for all the model years except an older one like you know 2014 and older where they connected these to a just a single mega fuse um but for you know the 20 i'm going to say 2016 and newer everybody uh has mega fuse blocks in their battery box and there's an actual large cable that runs from a mega fuse in the battery box to this isolator solenoid and then uh, the generator picks up the power from the other side and what happens is uh, this gets when you, when you go to your panel to try to start the generator it actually sends an ignition signal uh, to one of these little switch uh, basically it's a switch and so it closes the circuit so the generator can use your battery power to start so I'm going to um, connect the positive um, this positive I'm going to cut a little section out of it and uh, hook it to that positive um, connection on the isolator solenoid so I will uh, get my tools together and come back and show you how I'm going to do that and then I'm going to hook the negative there's actually a down here you can barely see it right there on the side is the negative for the generator um, but that is really hard really tight to get in there to get to that so I'm actually just going to hook this negative to the metal frame uh, behind the generator uh, for the ground and I'll show you when I do that um, so I'll be back all right so I've already loosened this now I'm going to take the positive I'm just going to cut a section out of it to make it look like a C instead of a circle. And then I'm going to stick it underneath this washer. You want to stick it under the nut, the lock washer. So you want to stick it under the lock washer. And then I'm going to tighten this back up. Make sure that stays up in place. And you always want to be careful with your wrench because this is a hot connection. Okay, so we've got our uh, wire there. I just fed it through. There's a rubber grommet here and then you can see it's over here and the negative is sticking down here so I'll show you when I get underneath where I'm going to attach that negative to the frame okay so as far as the positive connection is uh, goes we are done with that so we can put the cover back on oh, wait I think we have to Okay, oh, no. the cover is back on. That's all secure. Okay, so now I'll go under and do the same thing with the negative. All right, so there's my connection. So like I said, now I'm gonna uh, zip tie all this back up, but you can see on the TST now, the light is on, so the repeater is now working. So as I said, I'm just gonna stretch this under the, find a, good spot to stretch this out and uh, zip tie it under the rig and I'll be done.